In this short video I will explain my process for CNC engraving a logo with a Snapmaker machine in Fusion 360 and filling it with epoxy, including important details. Draw the workpiece in Fusion and import an SVG file, place and extrude it. Select 2D Adaptive Clearing. Now set minimum cutting radius, radial stock to leaf and axial stock to leaf to zero. Now press and hold the shift button on your keyboard and select all the pockets with a left click of your mouse. Click on OK when you're done. Now Fusion calculates the work path for your tool head. Have a look if every part of the pockets will be cut. Without these settings, the tool head would not have cleared the narrow parts of the pockets. Select Action and Post Process to save the tool pass as G-code file and transfer it to your Snapmaker machine. As I have set the origin of the coordinates in Fusion into the middle of the cutting board, this has to be my worker region too. Set set height with the calibration card, but don't forget to raise set before running boundaries as you can easily break your bit on collision. Start the drop elevated from your worker region to prevent breaking the bit on horizontal movement of the tool head. Sand the edges until they are smooth. Mix epoxy with the color you want, don't forget to add glitter. Keep pouring epoxy until the engraving is completely filled. Watch out for bubbles. Keep sanding the exceeding epoxy until the surface is flat. Hand sand it with a high grit paper for a very smooth surface. Last but not least, do some oiling for protection for the board and the glossy finish. This was my CNC process for Snapmaker in Fast Forward. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Thank you for watching and happy making!